welcome back to another lip balm review. We're doing another EOS today. I know, we've been doing more of those lately than usual because I realized I do have a good backlog of them here that need to be reviewed, and especially as we're approaching the holiday season, I know full well before we know it, those will be out and will need reviews too. So I'm trying to catch up at least a little bit on the stuff from last year before them. So today we're doing Triple Mint, which is not to be confused with Sweet Mint. This is a different one. I've not experienced it yet, even though I've had it sitting here waiting to be reviewed literally for a year now. Yeah, I'm trying to fix this, guys. I'm trying to fix this. So, anyways. I'm not sure what exactly to expect with it. I don't know if I should be expecting it to be more tingly. I mean, they're showing like icicles and snowflakes on a mint leaf. Uh, let's see here. It says, Our fresh and clean triple mint flavor tastes like a magical mint medley for the ultimate kits of freshness. So my guess is it's probably a combo of regular mint, spearmint, and wintergreen. But I could be wrong. Um, maybe peppermint? I don't know. But anyways, that's just my guess. So, 24-hour hydration, dermatested and hypoallergenic, not tested on animals, paraben and phthalate-free, and gluten-free. So. Format-wise, it is a dome-type lip balm, as are all the sphere ones. And the packaging is really cute. Look at this color combo, guys. I am in love with that color combo, actually. Even the sticker on the bottom is color-coordinated with it. And I appreciate that they're putting the names on the bottoms now, although they could use, like, a drop more adhesive on those labels for them to actually stay on. I don't know if the newer ones are doing a little better with that, but these first ones that had the stickers, they keep wanting to peel off, so I keep gluing them back down. But <laughs> anyways, uh, I can't wait. I have to give it a quick sniff before we continue. Oh, that does smell different. Okay. Alright, it's legit not a dupe of sweet mint. It smells like Pepto-Bismol, so I'm guessing it's mostly peppermint in there. Um, maybe some spearmint, but anyways, we'll come back to that part. So, price-wise, it's $3.99 when I got it. I know some have found them for $3.50, some have found them for less when they're on sale, some have found them for a little more, depending on where you find them at. Absolutely depends on the location. You can always find them on their website, uh, retailers like Target and Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. They generally have this one too, so just look around because a lot of places have them. A lot of grocery stores have them. Just seriously, look around. So, size-wise, it is a quarter of an ounce, which is standard for the sphere-type lip balms from EOS. Um, it's tech part of a set. I mean, it was part of that wave of them that all came out at the same time last year, but I mean, it's not like part of like a set like, say, this guy. Yes, this is coming up too. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I was gonna do that first, but then I was like, actually, before I do that, let's do one of the ones from this release cycle and then do that. Or maybe, maybe I'll even do one of the flavor labs first. Like, I've got lavender latte right here still waiting to be done. I have actually not done any of the flavor labs yet. I still have to do all of those. I have a lot of things to review for you guys. So I just, I need to get cracking on this. So anyway, so they are organic. The ingredients in this one, beeswax, sunflower seed oil, castor seed oil, bisdiglycerol, polyacetate 2, jojoba esters, coconut oil, flavor, aroma, rice bran wax, sunflower seed wax, shea butter, cocoa seed butter, acai decurrens flower wax. I feel like I recognize that, but I don't know off the top of my head what it is. Um, peppermint leaf extract. Aha! I knew I smelled peppermint in there. Stevia leaf and stem extract, coffrol, polyglycerin 3, glycine, soybean oil, citric acid, and limonene. So there's that. Um, it's not limited edition. This is permanent line right now. This is in their baseline at the moment. It's not medicated. There's no SPF, no special features. So let's go back to talking about that scent. 
Well, they say triple mint, which would lead me to believe there's three types of mint in here. We have established the peppermint for sure. But it's honestly overriding anything else that might be in there. <laughs> so I'm like, um... I'm having a really hard time trying to pinpoint what the other two kinds of mint are that are in here. So I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to hope for minty tingles. Which, given it has peppermint oil, I can't imagine that it wouldn't have the tingles. This one's taking a little bit to get it going. Sometimes they do. Yeah, I'm still mostly just smelling peppermint. There is flavor. Interestingly, it makes my tongue tingle immediately, even though I'm not feeling it on the lips yet. Also tastes like Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> Where's the other mints? Just call it peppermint if you're only going to put peppermint in it, guys. Like, really. And although it's peppermint, it doesn't smell like a candy cane, oddly. What's up with that? Hmm. Let's blow some air across it, see if it tingles then. Not really. Hmm. Weird. Well, I'm getting a tiny bit now on the t on the upper lip, so I guess it's coming. It's just slow. That's so weird that I really only get the one mint out of this. As for thickness, it's actually surprisingly thin. Even with as much as I've caked on, it feels thin. I don't know why. Yeah, that's crazy thin, actually. But even so, it's very creamy and smooth. I thankfully don't feel chaps through it. Which is surprising for being that thin. Hmm. No stickies. No stickiness at all. That's so weird, though. I'm sure it will absorb. I know that some of you get weird when peppermint oil is in a lip balm because you say that it dries your lips out more. I find that that's on a case-by-case -case basis. For some people, that's true. For me personally, I don't seem to have an issue with that. I have other ingredients that seem to trigger that, but peppermint oil's not one of them. So, for what it's worth, I mean, don't steer 100% clear of peppermint oil just because that's what you've heard, unless it's what you've experienced, you know? Even then, I mean, you can still use it just to enjoy it and use something else to fix any damage, just saying, but... Okay, there's the... Ooh, okay, now the tinglies are starting to kick in. All right, I knew that they would sooner or later, because I was like, come on, for how much I have put on... There is no way that this would not be tingly. Come on. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, I'm gonna recap this now. Alright, so shiny-wise... Uh, actually not as shiny as I was expecting. Hmm, I mean it's got some shine to it, but it's not like glossy or anything, so there is that. I forgot to check the sturdiness, but the lock mechanism's really good here, so no complaints. Alright, let's do the drinky test. Two things. One, it passed the drink test. Two, 
Okay, so this is one of those minty lip balms that when it gets wet, it activates the tingly feelings. Some of them, it's when air hits them. Other ones, it's when they get wet. Don't know why this is. Don't know what the difference is. All I know it is when I experience it and then I tell you guys about it. So for this one, apparently it's when it gets wet. It starts tingling more intensely. So, hmm, okay. Well. One point is going against it just because I feel like that name is a misnomer. All I get is peppermint here. If there is other kinds of mint, they should either A, list what they are on the packaging so we know what's supposedly in there, or B, make it to where we can actually tell the difference between the different forms of mint that are in there. Uh, because as it is, it's hard to convince me that there is three kinds of mint in this. Feels like one. So there is that. Um, besides that, hmm, that may be my only issue with it. I'm trying to think. I think it is. So even with that in mind, I'm still going to rate it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> It's still really good, especially if you love minty things, especially if you love peppermint. Uh, unless if you associate the smell with Pepto-Bismol and would rather avoid it, in which case, don't buy it then. But even though I can't take Pepto, for me it's other reasons. It's not because of the smell. It's because it contains aspirin in it and I'm allergic to incense. But regardless, the smell is fine, so this doesn't bother me any. But I will just say that it smells and tastes exactly like it. So I mean, if that's a deal breaker for you, I'm throwing that out there that this both smells and tastes 100% exactly like Pepto. So I know some people find that scent or taste to be really triggery. That's why I mention it uh, as a disclaimer on this. But I know a lot of people really don't mind. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's deal breaker, but if for you personally it is, you may want to avoid this one. Otherwise, I think it's very nice. I think it feels very refreshing now that the tingling's actually kicking in. Um, I just wish I could actually taste the other two forms of mint in there or smell them or anything. I just... The peppermint itself is, like, overriding everything if there is others in there, so... Anyways... That is it for this one, so as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below. If you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.